The game comes right down to the final play after a lightning delay. But the bottom line, the Buccaneers had a 21 to 10 lead and couldn't hold it. Yes, Jameis Winston had a career high with yardage, but he is still inconsistent at times. And kicker Roberto Aguayo misses an extra point and misses another field goal. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers give up 37 points to a Rams team that hadn't scored an offensive touchdown until this game. The Bucs are one and two, and now we'll have to take on Denver here next Sunday. You know, you face adversity, uh, but you gotta, you gotta bounce back. You know, I, I felt like we, we really fought hard. We, that was a hard fought game. Uh, you gotta commend their team. Their team did really well. Their yeah. offense uh, did well. Uh, the defense did well. Uh, me, can't turn the ball over. Any saving grace that it's still so early in the year? <laughs> yeah, we've been saying that for years, man. That's that's always like the, you know, revolving door, repeating thing around here. But you know, it is. It, but it is early. But you know, it don't get no easier. I mean, we got um, you know one of the best, better teams, better defenses coming in next next week. The Denver Broncos will come in three and zero. Quarterback Trevor Simeon threw four touchdown passes in a win over the Bengals. Huh. Bucks got to regroup in a hurry. At Raymond James in Tampa, Rock Riley, Right House Sports Network.